one of the biggest technologies right now are these automated uh, carts and fork trucks that are able to uh, selectively go and pick the product and it has a, a fleet management system, basically a, a computer that's monitoring the location and activity and battery level of each one of these autonomous robots that are moving around on the floor, going picking up materials and bringing it to the operators. So it's saving, saving those operators time. It gets the materials to them and they're able to pick it, package it, and it's, they're just continuously bringing them, them orders. And uh, those types of systems, you can, you can just keep on adding bots to those. We yeah. just put in a system that would have been millions and millions of dollars based on the throughput number and the n- number of sortation locations that they had. When they first started talking t- to us about it, uh, and the throughput numbers. I'm saying first, the first thing we need to consider is how do we get that many pro- that that much product on the belt that fast? It's almost impossible without spending a, just a lot of money on on high level of sortation. At the end of the day, we ended up using little bots on a table that move around, and they they'll show up at the operator, and they're like little dump trucks. And, and you put your, you, you, the, the operator puts the product on there and it drives around to the dump location. And we have hundreds of dump locations and dozens of pickup locations on that system. And it can handle the throughput uh, and it's safe and it's, it's just amazing. That, that's one of the, the newer technologies out there that, uh, and that saved the customer literally millions of dollars and, as, and also footprint in their building went down. I mean, this thing was going to be just gigantic when we were first putting together our initial layouts using more traditional type of conveyor systems 